when we say world in motion, it is, is creating a living experience somewhere that you believe exists rather than just a piece of geometry. You know, you can hear the wind going through the trees, but yep. the fact that you can actually see things move, just it's just layering and layering of effects that adds to that kind of finished visual. So obviously, um, the kind of the waves are crashing in the world and you've got the ship kind of riding on the waves. So we've got like the ropes swinging in the, in the kind of the, the air as it crashes across the waves and you've got the filling of the ship when obviously you've got a leak on the ship and the water starts to rise. It, it, slosh, it, it feels like it's sloshing about. about. Yeah. So it feels like things have got gravity in a mm. sense and there's physics within this world. Obviously we're trying to create quite a unique bespoke experience. Mm. So generating an open world game that doesn't feel procedural, feels crafted. Yeah and kind of has history and life to it. It takes a lot of work. Yeah. Um, so we need to look at what elements make sense to put time into. We knew we were gonna have a pirate kind of adventure game, so it wanted to be kind of this big world that you're gonna be adventuring in. But it also had that sense of kind of fun where it was about a crew kind of bonding together. So it needed to be something that had a sense of kind of joy around it and kind of like creativity. It needed an art style that kind of tied it all together. So rather than um, being uh, kind of realistic te yeah. textures, it was going to be something that was more expressive, more suggestive yeah. rather than actual really tiny granular detail. Uh, and by doing that, we just kind of like pulled a lot of that small detail out. Yeah. And that just meant that we could fill this world with, with all this kind of interest and it just didn't get bogged down or heavy. We spend a lot of time looking at action from like mid to long distance. Yes. So that kind of mid to long distance read mm. of shapes and yeah. silhouettes is, was key. But pulling back, it's about that big block colours or big block shapes. Yeah. So you can see that ship on the horizon and it's got that really nice kind of form. And we're doing a lot of things with the distance as well where we're, we're removing even more detail as you get further back. So the islands actually turn into kind of like one tone colour. And, and that carried through a lot of things where we're kind of refining our shapes or removing that detail in, in all of those areas. So the animation style is bold and yeah. brassy as well. Um, it's quite pushed because you want all the different characters, shapes and sizes to, to have a different feel to them, to be unique in themselves. Mm. Yes, so each one's got its own unique animation uh, and that, that's for male and female. So we are putting a lot of effort into getting movement mm. within our world, it was very important. All of these elements that we bring together is, is a kind of, like we always talk about, like an orchestra, you bring all these yes. individual elements together. All the different instruments. And they all layer yeah. up and they create this experience. And when it all does come together, it's all about making this kind of world in motion, but ultimately that's kind of to make Sea of Thieves an actual living place. Yeah.